Hello everyone. It's been a long time in wait, but we are finally here in Baku, Azerbaijan, um, for round five, uh, a continuation of a uh, of that Formula Two uh, series. Um, just waiting on a few now. I think it's one shot qualifying, so can't really see an awful lot, unfortunately. bit all mental to be honest and just going into turn one um, I guess I, I've never really um, streamed a qualifying that is uh, one shot so I guess that's the uh, the, the live live standings as it is um, I guess we'll follow pole I mean that's all you can do really isn't it Quite a test uh, for the boys as they um, as they get to grips again with these Formula Two cars. Pipes about to come up into the stadium section, which could be very interesting. They've obviously had a bit of practice, hopefully, and uh, we can see some good driving out there today. Imagine that's Kappa Cams and Lewis, perhaps in the. Uh, in the stadium section there perhaps, I'm not too sure. Very nice and hypes. On the purple compound, which I believe is ultra soft, is it? It's been a long, long time since I've seen it. Put the purple compound. Super soft, sorry, not hyper soft, super soft. Just done a little Google. And that is hypes across the line with a 149.3. Followed by Jack with a 150. And then Kevin with a 151. Watson 152. Great with a 152. Matt with a 153. Smith with a 153. Frosty with a 153. And last was. I didn't get to see it, unfortunately. I haven't got the stream open yet, so. Last was a uh, scale Z with a two minute and three second. Most important thing was to get across the line there. As you can see, quite a few uh, dis disqualified and a couple with no times at all. Um, so very good. That is one shot qualifying over. We now have the two sprint races. And then finally after that, we will have the feature race. So I think it's two 12 lappers and then one 14 lapper. And my Twitch isn't working. There we go. Yep, we got sound, that's all that matters. I don't know what to listen to the adverts. Here we go. Believe it is a uh, yeah, it is a uh, <laughs> a flipped grid uh, for the first sprint race. So Chavis is a P1, uh, p P2, Frosty P3, uh, and Hopes who set the fastest lap, of course, is right down in last. Uh, sorry, P10. Uh, only the first ten is uh, flipped. Uh, some problems there between uh, Liam and. Liam and Ayrton now.
just trying to get the stream into a few uh, a few of the servers because unfortunately uh, it hasn't been sorted out yet for the automatic uh, ping um, so yes just trying to get him into the announcements in the best way that I can but um, yep just the boys worn out their tyres here we're going to look at uh, who's on what tyre I think it would probably yeah they're all on the medium um, big problem somewhere I don't know what has happened there but a couple of them are out Cap is there oh did I see what had happened there they will be back uh, once the uh, race gets underway. I've now just got the ping for all of the all of the streams. The stream cord has now worked, so everyone that does get to see this. I do apologise for the two pings. I don't know if I did ping everyone actually. It might have just been put in general announcements, so it might not have been too bad, but. Yeah, very annoying. It, it does work, apparently. <laughs> it does work. Um, also tonight, we have the, uh, I believe, the first round of RTC, uh, the Rising Rising Team Championship. Uh, I believe six of our drivers will be competing in that. Um, so make sure to check out that. I'll try and find the stream and maybe put it in the chat. Um, Anyway, waiting for players, and then we'll be underway here in Azerbaijan. Yeah, that uh, RTC race will be starting at 8 o'clock uh, GMT. Five red lights, and away we go. A lot of movement from the start. Clean and turn one a couple of ram wide. We're also there. Oh dear, and that is a red bull. Oh dear, Lewis is out. And we have two more that have hit the barrier and lost front wings. Severe collision, penalty for. Liam here. Safety car is out. Chavez has got the lead still from the start. Now, there's no mandatory pit stop in uh, Formula 2 Sprint 1. no pit stop required so they can pit during their safety car and get a new front wing uh, and it won't change anything in regards to that however in the feature race you cannot serve any mandatory pit stop uh, under VSC or within the first two laps so you've got to make a pit stop in the fe feature ugh, fe feature race but it has to be after the second lap and it can't be under a VSC or a safety car well, perhaps it could. Sorry, it can be done under a safety car. It can't be done under a VSC, a virtual safety car. some box I'd imagine position changes from the start Max Spencer drops 5 uh, 
uh, in that little bit of carnage turn one. Uh, Kevin is up four into P4, slide P8, up, up four. Frosty down two. Uh, and Lewis is in spot out, so he would have dropped a lot of positions there. Uh, a couple coming into the pits though. Uh, Hypes, Max, Spencer, Ayrton, Liam, and Kappa all in the pits. Uh, they have suffered damage. Of course, the pit stops in Formula 2 are. Um, are a lot longer due to there being less less people in the actual pit crew now, as you can see there there's only what one two four five six seven people in that whole whole pit crew there so they've actually got almost do two tires each and then they also have to do the uh, the rear jack and front jack as well as doing a tire as well so there we go that is Matt Spencer leaving the pit lane now ready to catch up with the safety car is the lovely red cloud strike Mercedes? Very nice shots there coming up through stadium. The castle, shall I say, not stadium. But I suppose that is the stadium part as well. It is the castle section. Because there is a castle right by it. Hopefully, we'll get the track map up now. I forgot to put that up. And lap data. This should be safety car in, I hope. Mm, is it? No, I don't think it is. No, the safety car looks to be staying out. For one more lap, maybe. Yep, one more lap in the safety car. And we will be underway once more. Oh dear. Frosty gets a five second for a severe collision with QWERTY. Don't know what quite happened there. All AIs, I think that's the trouble. See there. See, Kurt is trying to use up some fuel. Very wise from him. Under these safety guard conditions, it's trying to get rid of some of that weight so that he will be faster at the end. As long as he doesn't get rid of too much, of course. There is a, there's no ERS in this. It is purely ERS and speed. Liam gets a panic for falling too far back. As you can see, he's having a bit of trouble here, I think. Better catch up. Safety car is in this lap. Travis now sets the pace. Scales is side by side with him. Doing a Max Verstappen S sort of. He's ahead. <laughs> he shouldn't be ahead. And now he's lost that. Travis has decided to go. 
Now that Skills you have to drop off the gas, Travis is gone. Very, very smart from Travis. Like the anticipation from Scalesy, but unfortunately Travis read it like a book. For some reason we have some stupid camera angle. Travis has let off a little bit here. Ooh, Scalesy was late on the brakes, runs wide into turn one. Smith tries to get on the gas too early and loses a lot of positions because of it. Frosty, Kevin, side by side, Quirty and Jack. Travis stays in the lead, Scales is still in P2. Pipes goes for a move here on Smith, makes it very nice indeed. Matt Expense is getting uh, pressured by uh, Rhett by Ayrton here. Sector 1, there is this problem. I don't know if uh, Liam is out. Liam is out. Frosty is spun as well. Oh dear. We are still green though, we are still green. But it's all over the back of Kevin here. Goes for the move in this very, very quick part of the track. Kevin leaves the room. Oh, and Quirty smashes into the wall, loses it there. And that could be another safety car, yes it is. Oh dear. It's very, very, very easy. Someone else loses some front wing there as well. I think that might be Jack. No, it's not. It is Kevin here, who has lost a bit of front wing now. Is it Kevin? No, it's not, is it? I can't remember who it is. It's Red Verton. Obviously went too fast into that little left hander and probably got got up on the bit on the curb a little bit too much as well, uh, and therefore jumps the jumps over the curb into the wall. Uh, luckily, he hasn't lost the wheel. He's only lost the front wing. So they will all be coming in for new front wings once more. As they do not speed in that pit lane, as I've done one too many times. Hopes and scales you now. P two and three. Um, Travis is back behind that red safety car once more. <laughs> Has to put the wheel on and do the nut up. All go, Smith can go. All these boys will now have to catch up now to um let's see if i can invite watson back again i don't know whether he's uh, just disconnected and then couldn't find his way back because the maybe under a certain category or not i can't remember what i set it to now we will try and find him now there he is uh, invite invite to the game whether he will join back or not that is another question Rep Viertin is leading this little train of the people that had to pit. Um, they will hopefully catch up. I guess they've gone on to those purples now, have they? Yes, so there's a couple of runners on the purple first. Hopes is on the super softs, Ayrton's on the super softs, and Jack is on the super softs. So, <laughs> 
I think we're almost there. Just a uh, Smith, Capcams, and Frosty there. Just uh, got to catch up. Smith gets a five second for speeding in the pit lane. He's pitting. He's pitting from the front wing here. Yeah. Ah, that one hasn't got an end uh, end plate on, so he's pitting for a new uh, new front wing now. Which means the safety car could quite possibly be staying out for another lap. Smith's also gone onto the super softs. You see, Red Baron's almost caught up with Watson now. He still hasn't joined back, so uh, don't know whether he's just lost connection altogether or not. I do not know. Years goes to. I don't know if Ayrton knows that you can't overtake him, even though it's a ghosted car or not. Just waiting for Smith now. Kappa's over to Frosty. I don't know why that's happened. I don't know if that's AI or not. I do not know. Oh, yeah. Safety car is not in this lap, I don't think, because Smith is so far behind. Yeah, one more lap at least of the safety car. Um, this goes a five second penalty for exceeding track limits. I think he might have ran wide a bit there as well. The AI of Watson somehow is into P3, I don't know what's going on to be honest. I think there is a problem in terms of overtaking under the safety car. It's always been a bit of a mess. Right there and catches the wall a little bit there. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in this lap. Ayrton almost loses it there and puts it into the wall. Travis absolutely guns it straight away. Hopes knows he needs to let that place go. 
him and Scales are side by side, really squeezing each other. The overtakes can officially happen now. Oh, and Scalzi runs wide into turn one again, just trying to get that move to happen. This could be where we see the super soft really, really working well here. Hypes is really going in the back of Travis here now, looking for a move on Travis. Hypes really want to make this happen. And here he comes on the supers there and looks at the same sort of move on Travis as well. Really weaving behind there. Super Soft's just got so much more grip. Travis tucks in behind there and there. The Super Soft's are just so much quicker. Ooh, and Travis may have run a little bit. Uh, oh, and there's a spin. Jack has spun. He's okay though. I think he's going to get away with it. Yes, I think he is. Keeps it out of the walls. Hypes is running away with it now, isn't he? Two seconds clear of it now. Oh, and Travis catches the wall and loses an end plate. I shouldn't think he'd pit. It'd be silly to. Just got to get the break in right and get through the last couple of laps. As Matty makes a move on Smith. Matty on his Fresh super softs. Kevin's all over the back of Travis now as well. Travis struggling with that missing end plate. Can't go around these corners flat out. And actually, ta um, pulling away from Kevin here actually. Uh, Hopes has just set a fastest lap at 152. Can Kevin get up the inside of Travis here? Into turn two, and there is a yellow in sector one. What's happened? I think it might be Scalzi. Yes, it is. Scalzi has retired on track. That's not good. Anyway, back to the action. After that yellow flag, um, Travis has now lost a little bit of time to uh, Ayrton. Matt Expenses just overtook um, Frosty and Kappa. I don't know if it was green at that point, I'm not too sure. I can't remember to be honest, I think I didn't see the uh, the flags around the track. Uh, but he hasn't got a penalty for it, so that's absolutely good from Matt X Spencer. Really, really visual from him, making sure that he can uh, overtake cleanly and safely. Jack now as well. Yeah, Jack's left. Oh, and Smith clips. Spins it back around. Jack gets a five second for ignoring the other flags. Frosty is now up with uh, Matt Spencer and Capcams is following uh, Frosty as well. Very careful with the steering through those two corners there. Very easy to oversteer and just spin and hit a wall. As uh, Hopes goes fastest and again and beats his, uh, beats his current lap. Hopes that's a 151. No DRS yet, so I'm not sure why that is. But um, Frosty looking at a move here on uh, Matt Expenser. The room is left very nicely indeed. Um, Looking for the switch back is Frosty. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit unfair there, but gets past Matt X Spencer. I think he might be having a little look at that. Uh, Kappa gets uh, past Matt X Spencer as well. Travis has lost a lot of time here with that missing end play in P3. Ayrton has a nice comfortable uh, lead on Travis now, uh, but Hypes is still pulling well away, uh, well away from those, those two. Ooh, that was close from Ayrton there, almost puts it in the wall. I 
thought the, uh, the castle section there would, uh, would have took a few more victims already, but hasn't just as yet. Paris, of course, having to slow down a little bit more. May actually be catching it in here. Frost is definitely getting on Travis, that is for sure. DRS is enabled and Frost has got it on Travis. Don't know whether Kaffa's got it. Yes, he has, just about. So they will be gaining, but Max Spencer always has it as well. So Travis is under immense pressure now. Um, now that they've all got his DRS on him, and look at that. Frosty is now very much in the mix of getting Travis here. DRS down this straight now. Travis moves to cover the inside. Uh, may also be looking to break the slipstream as well. Frosty looks at a move on Travis. I think he's got it done. Yes, he has. Very nice move there from Frosty. Travis has got to defend for all his life now in this last lap. Try and keep that grid slot for, uh, for the second sprint. Kaffa Cams is looking at Travis now as well. And best believe whatever Kappa Cams can do, Matt Expenser can as well. So Travis is really, really in trouble here. As uh, Rhett Burton gets a three second there for uh, multiple warnings of track limits. This might be a drag race to the line here. If uh, Kappa, Kappa can keep up the Travis as well as Matt Expenser, of course, there's no ARS advantage, so uh, it is all down to DRS down this last main street, so to speak. Kappa is nearly side by side with Travis, actually. Yeah, he's got the slipstream. Kappa's going to get past Travis here. Or is he? Travis is actually moving about a bit here. And the drag to the line, this could be interesting. Free wide. Who gets it? Matt Expenser gets there first, gets the leaf on both of them. Kappa Cams and T5. P6 goes to Travis. What a great, great sight that was. Drag race to the line with three cars, three wide. Very, very good indeed. So of course the uh, the first uh, the first eight get points. So one to P eight, two to P seven, four to P six, six to P five, uh, eight to P four, ten to P three, twelve to P two, and seventeen to hypes in P one. Of course, Hypes gets the uh, additional point for fastest lap, I believe. So it would only be 16 for P1, but of course he gets the fastest lap. So we move into the second sprint now. I don't know how many people have stayed about. We will...
and that is the next formation lap. Watson in P1. I don't know if he's here. He's not. That is unfortunate. Um, I think the only person that is here is Smith. Yep, so Smith is technically P1 uh, due to a few people not being here. Lewis Such is here. Uh, Liam is here. Quirt is here. Everyone's here other than P1 and 2. So I'll try and get some invites sent out. Whether they want to join back or not is up to them. Um, recently played with. Oh. Maybe they are here. Maybe they are here. It says he's playing F1 and he's playing in Azerbaijan. So uh, maybe he is here. Maybe it's just the game being stupid. I do not know. Um, who else was I was looking for? Watson. I think Watson has turned his Xbox off, I believe, there. So Jack is here, I think, but... Uh, Watson is not. As we see, Ayrton is disqualified from the start. Just coming down the last straight now. Lewis is fell quite far back here. Uh, oh, and there's a problem in front with uh, Scalzi and F1 of these QWERTY. Just can't behave during these formation laps. Right, here we go, waiting for a few players. Sector 3 has a yellow flag, that is odd, but we are... Five red lights. Ah, Smith jumps to start, it's lights out, away we go. Oh, dear me. Uh, uh, that is a mess. Do not know what happened there. That could be a problem. Jack is... Sat inside hypes on the straight there. I really don't know what happened. Um, don't know if a jack can move or not. He can. Oh, he was disqualified. Oh dear. Anyway, safety car. Smithy burning some fuel.
Watson's AI here is still in P4. <clears throat> Who's coming in the pits? Nobody. Interesting. Oh wait, pit lane hasn't actually happened yet. Never mind. Nope, still nobody is coming into the pits. So that is a good thing. Oh, Travis runs very wide into turn one. Ayrton has to let him pass. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. Oh dear. That's a bit of a problem. But um, hopefully they'll get back to the position there. Travis runs wide. And I don't think they realised that you could overtake him if you ran real wide. Uh, so the boys did have a bit of a crash turn one. But... Um, Easily understandable. Lewis Such and Kappa Cam's in the pits. Uh, Rossi gets a five second penalty for a severe collision with Scalzi. I don't know whether that was during that incident turn one or not. Um, Safety car, safety car. Oof. And <laughs> watch the brakes. <laughs> oh, this goes into the back of his teammate, I believe. Yep. Uh, in the high tech. I'm just going to invite someone. Um, uh, I think he might already be here. Right, as Frosty and Liam come into the pits, they'll be on the purple compound tyre now, I believe. Yes, they are. Uh, same as Travis, he has decided to go on to the purple as well. Um... Hopefully. Azerbaijan isn't the greatest track for these boys to start on, to be honest. Uh, Silverstone is next. Uh, hopefully that will be a bit easier. Uh, street circuits are always hard, even an NF1 car. There's always a bit more carnage than a normal uh, racing circuit. Um, yeah. Expensive there, just get some temperature into those tyres. Now you might see a, a move through the field of Liam and Frosty. Once they get up to the field, that is. Uh, Liam is about eight seconds off the field. Might just get there actually before the uh, 
before the safety car decides whether it's coming in or not. Maybe. Is the safety car in this lap? I don't think it is. I think we'll be having another lap, unfortunately. Never mind. We're all there now, anyway. Good luck to the lads. Uh, I think the lobby is just about to get underway there. Pigs, I am looking right now for a stream for the esports, mate. Uh, as soon as I can get that for you, I will put that in the uh, in the chat for the. Um... Oh dear, that's the AI messing about again. That is the trouble with people leaving. Uh, Watson's AI causing a lot of trouble. happened at Bahrain. I believe it happened at Saudi as well. Uh, I was involved. Uh, very, very nice. He was overtaken Watson. Kaffa has as well, hopefully everyone else does to be honest, I think we might make that a new rule. Uh, everyone to overtake, well if you can that is, if you can without penalties, because Liam has there, oh and there's more baby on the track, that's not good. Waiting for a restart, oh yes we are. Smith with the restart. Still hasn't gone, is he going to go? No he's not. Still waiting. Waiting for the trigger. Here away we go. Already moves happening here. I don't know quite what's going on. Half has spun, I think. Have they spun? No, they haven't. There's just a lot of debris. A bit of a shove there from, uh, from Quirty. Oh dear me. And Quirty doesn't leave enough room, and Matt Spencer is forced to. Well, he's not forced to, but he, he, he had nowhere to go, I don't think that. Um, my instant view was that anyway. Back underway. Quirty's still moving, which is always good. This is all over the back of Travis. Lewis makes a move on Frosty, gets the move done. Uh, Pig, so far I can't find a uh, stream for the eSports. Doesn't look like there is one, unfortunately. Uh, which is annoying. I spoke to one of the admins of uh, RTC. Uh, the other one, the, the main one, is actually on at the moment, so unfortunately I can't get to him uh, and speak to him about it. As we see, Scalesy, a bit later on the rates than uh, Smith and Travis. Um, 
And Liam runs very wide there. Don't know if the DRS is enabled yet. Smith is leaving this little train and Scaly hits the wall. Smith gets a penalty. Or did he already have one? I can't remember now. Smith's into the pits. He must have a bit of damage. Doesn't look like it, but he, he must have a bit of damage somewhere. Liam's looking at Scalesy now. And we have a problem. Smith. Oh, he's retired, is he? Might have retired in in the pit lane there. Yes, I think he has that. And I don't know if Quirky is as well. As you see, him have a pit stop. He is coming back out. Side by side is Matt Spencer and Kappa Cams. Lewis is looking at a move as well. Looks for the cut back on X Spencer. Will he make it happen? It looks like he's got better traction coming out of that corner. Better exit. Side by side into the next. Very, very tight. Matt Spencer loses that position to Lewis there. Not a bad race between the two of them actually. Kappa, Liam and Scalesy all in hot pursuit of each other. Lewis not far behind at all as well. Good, good train through the middle here of this pack. Very close together as well now. Anyone going to run wide? No, they're all going to be okay. Kappa gets a better exit than Liam does. Coming down the straight, but Liam is on those super softs. Bit of dirty air maybe here through these corners. Everyone's okay. Kappa's looking at move. Scalesy cuts right across Kappa. I'm not sure if that was very, very fair from Scalesy. More contact from Scalesy as well. Liam drops in behind Kappa. Kappa might send one up the inside here. Scalesy. Scalesy. Oh, bit of contact with him and Lewis. Lewis tried to move. He had to duck back in behind Scalesy there. Oh, and Frosty's very late on the brakes. It could be three wide, it's not going to be three wide. Max Spence is later on the brakes than Frosty is. Oof. And that there is Lewis Such being squeezed up against the wall by Scalesy, I think. Um, so that's Lewis Such pretty much out of this train now. Spencer goes for a move on the inside of Frosty. Oh dear me. Smith has left the session and there's more contact. Set to two has a yellow flag, double wave yellows. So far, not a safety car. Matt catches the wall. I don't know if he's got a bit of damage. I think he does. Yeah, he does. Liam's all over the back of Matt. Liam has got a full front wing, I think, and Matt is missing two end plates. Matt has not got much front wing left at all. Matt lets him go. Very fair from Matt. I think Matt and uh, Frosty had a bit of a coming together, a bit of an argument on track. Spencer comes into the bits. Back to the action. Uh, Kappa cams. Is all over the lack of Travis here. 
because Quirtus sets the fastest lap on those uh, mediums there in the Carlin car. Tapper almost loses it on the curb there. I think Travis might have a bit of damage perhaps. Does he? I can't see. He was going too fast. Travis slow down so I can see the front wheel. No, two end caps there. Doesn't seem to be he's gaining up ease away from Kappa now a little bit more. Um, Brett Mayer is all over the back. Oh, Lewis is out. What's happened to Lewis? I think he might have... You may have just put it into the wall, and that could be a safety car. Yes, it is. Oh dear. Lewis Sarch just binned it into the wall. Oh, I say binned it into the wall. There might be a problem. There might be a bit of afters uh, in terms of that problem with Lewis there. Travis and Frosty come into the pits, as well as Liam. Simultaneous pit stop there between Liam and Travis. Travis leaves as Liam enters his pit box behind him. Frosty gets overtaken by Watson here. Um, Could be a while for this safety car to uh, sort itself out. Wrecked by it and gets into P1. Travis and Liam obviously pit. Yeah, if pigs, if you're still here, mate, there is a there is no stream for the RTC tonight. Pigs not still here. So, uh, yes. Unfortunately, I'm talking to myself. But yeah, there's no stream for the uh, RTC tonight. The admin just messaged me and said there is not. So that is unfortunate. Rhett Burton and uh, Kevin. Don't know what Rhett Burton's doing there. Um, about to catch the safety car. This could be safety car finish here, to be honest. Or maybe it's going to be a one lap. Race to the finish. I'm not sure. I'm not. Could this safety car go to the end here? I think it probably will. Scalzi pits 
uh, for super softs. Mm. Here's the safety car just going to come in. It's got Kappa, Kevin, and Ayrton. This is a massive problem with AIs. Um, Watson 96, obviously his car is just going round and round and round and round, causing some problems for other people. Um, maybe we should sort that out with, uh, if you're going to leave, just sort of go to the pit lane in there. And actually leave, if that makes sense, and like retire from session in there. Um, Anyway, that is the safety car in. For one lap, we're going to have racing here. Uh, we have a couple on the super softs actually. Uh, Travis is on the supers, so that's a good choice from him. Happer and Liam as well. Ayrton is in P1. Kevin as well is also uh, P2, but they're both on the original tyres they started this race with. So Travis has got a big advantage, as well as Liam and Frosty. But I think that Frosty is quite far off the pace actually. Sorry, never mind. Um, we're going to keep with this pack I think because this is the most interesting part of the race at the minute other than of course Matt and Frosty yeah, having a bit of a ding dong there but in terms of most of the races it is here in P1 to 5 so we're going to stick with these guys to the end of this lap Where are those yellows? He's set to two. I think that might be Liam. Yes, it is. I think he's spun. Frosty, Max, Spencer, and Puerto get past. Liam's struggling uh, to get that car turned around. Um, as we move back now to P1 to 4 now. Um, no DRS, so it's pretty much probably going to stay like this until the line. The slippery might play effect. Kappa gets a good exit, but it does clout the wall quite hard there. Uh, Kevin, I don't think he's going to make it on Ayrton. Or is he? Is he going to make it? Goes for the move. Side by side, Ayrton wins. Followed by Kevin, followed by Travis, followed by Kappa. If DRS was in force there, I don't think Ayrton would have been the one at all. Quirty and Matt Spencer. Quirty gets the fastest lap on the mediums. Uh, Matt Spencer P7. Liam in P8, who's had a great opportunity uh, for a possible P5. Possibly even better with those new softs, uh, super softs. Gets P8. Watson comes across the line for P9. And Scales, you are just waiting on. Guess he's putting tickets in while he's racing, that's keen. Gelsy, he'll get to the line. Currently about 1.23 behind. But, um... Oh, what's in there on the upside of the track? We just saw his game tag there pop up. And Gelsy comes across the line with a minute to spare. Look at that. There we go. That is the end of the sprint, so P1 is Ayrton, uh, P2 is Kevin, P3 Travis, P4 Capcams, P5 Frosty, P6 QWERTY, P7 Matt, uh, 
Throw of the day, Earth, isn't there? Uh, I think P8 was Watson there. And there is the podium for the last sprint race. We move into... And P8 is Liam, sorry, P9 is Watson, uh, scale is P10, P11 is Lewis, P12 is Smith, P13 is Hypes, P14 is Jack O.S.H. Um, so we move into uh, the last, sorry, that there was, uh, <laughs> I've had a howler there, that there was the uh, results of the weekend so far. Sorry, I've never seen that before. So yeah, that is the uh, current results uh, after the points for both sprints have been added on. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, I'll have to get used to that. Uh, moving into the feature race now. So that is a 15 lap race, I believe. Hopefully the drivers have stayed about. Oh, I don't know if that's night time or whether that could be a bit wet. If it is wet, it could be quite interesting. I'd be very surprised uh, if uh, it is wet at Azerbaijan, but um, we will have to see. Sponsored by Tesla is the car from Hypes now. Hypes, <laughs> Hypes has done quite well here actually. Uh, him crashing in the first lap put him last. Uh, the grid being flipped put him first. Uh, not planned from Hypes of course, but um, fair enough I suppose. Uh, now, what do we want people? Everyone started on the super 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 softs, except for Travis. Uh, Liam and Kappa have been disqualified for something that I do not know of. And they are back at the grid. Travis is happy because he's now P10. Uh, Scalesy and Frosty P10 as well. Can't remember. Ayrton, I think, was the uh, was the one that won that race. So um, yeah, so it's Ayrton in P12. Oh, that was my steering wheel doing a madness. Uh, I'm trying to invite Scales you act. Hopefully he is on controller now. He might then be able to uh, Play on controller, maybe. Not too sure.
whether he can join before this restart gets underway. Oh, Frosty hits the wall. <clears throat> Trying to warm the tyres up, I think Frosty was there. Right, 15 laps to go then. We've had 12, we've had another 12. This is the final 15. Oh dear. What has happened now? Give it a second, hopefully. Please, please, F1 2021. This might be me here, you know, because I have not got anything at all in terms of HUD anything. Hmm. This could be interesting. I'm going to leave uh, and then hopefully get re. I'm going to leave, hopefully. Yeah, that is me. So I'm going to leave the game completely. Re-download the game. Uh, Re-download the game. Uh, Re-start the game, should I say? I believe it might have been my fault. So I apologise for that. Kappa has invited us, which is always a good job. Okay, I believe they... are they still waiting? No, we are still on the start waiting. Scalzi has left, and there we go, that was the trouble. It wasn't me, it was Scalzi all along. Five red lights, and away we go. All of a sudden, it got a bit brighter there around Azerbaijan once those lights come on. Liam gets a poor start, and Max gets an excellent start from the mark there. And it's fairly clean through turn one, I think, is it? No, I don't think it is, actually. Oh, it might be actually, I might be wrong. They have surprised me, I think. Yeah, they have. It's all good. In terms of turn one, so far it's all good. Watson, of course, is AI, and so is Hypes. I think Hypes is left now as well. It's a bit tight, though. Ooh, and Travis gets forced wide by Artin. A lot of crashing going on. Those two, NA, N A um, those two cars that have... Uh, AI'd themselves, causing a bit of trouble there. Lewis Sutch running a little bit wide, Frosty retired from session. That would be a safety car, I think. Maybe not, we might get lucky. And move there by Smith Scalesy. Scalesy, I think, is back, is he? Yes, he is, because he's not following the same line as all the other AIs. Yeah, I think I think Frosty did just send it into the wall, I think, because he's not very happy with himself. As Travis gets overtaken by uh Oh dear, and I think that's Jack in the wall. 
Kappa goes, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's happened to Jack there. That is that is a safety car, unfortunately. Oh dear. Oh, and skills he's lost it. Loses an end tape for his troubles. This is the hot shot, Bruno in the Discord, uh, Max Holzen uh, as Xbox uh, Games. Last to six, very, very good job from him. Uh, once the P1, whether he's going to get it or not, that is another question. Oh, and Jack got too much curve. That is why he binned it into that wall in sector two. We all know that feeling. Too much curve. I did it in Azerbaijan in tier three. Uh, I did it at Zanvolt in tier three. Uh, couldn't stop myself on the gravel straight into the wall. DNF. Jack, I know the feeling, mate. But, uh, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? And you do want to throw your Xbox out the window at that point, but uh, I'll put it behind you, yeah. There's Rep by uh, and it's falling behind a little bit. But he is, uh, he's going it steady, nice and steady uh, during this safety car. I will say the uh, the Formula Two cars, the gear changes, etc. It just sounds so so much better than the Formula One cars do. Other than like the Alpine, the Alpine's gearbox does sound quite good, but these Formula Two cars they just sound really really good. Travis's AI is falling back. Get a move on, Travis. Max Benson. Oh, and I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know whose position this actually was at the beginning of all this. Ayrton is a lot, lot slower than, than Matt. I don't know why Ayrton was going a bit awfully slow there, but um, Matt has, I think, gained a position. is a corner that creeps up on you and all of a sudden it's there sat in front of you that castle section you think it's a fairly clean corner you go left and all of a sudden there's a wall in front of you and you've got to correct the steering a bit more
safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Kevin is very late on the restart. Oh, that's not the button I want to press. And he goes now. Quirty all over the back, less than two tenths behind. Ayrton side by side with Spencer. Runs a little bit wide as Ayrton uh, comes back on track. My Spencer keeps out of the way of him as he comes back on track. As good as he gets the move done on the air, uh, Watson. Lewis and Matt Spencer are having a little go here as well. Matt Spencer losing another position. Now he's under threat from Matt Spolson. Matt Spencer goes down the inside. Lewis don't think could have done much there to be honest. Um, I'll clip it. I don't know. Oh, I can't clip, can I? Because I'm streaming. Do. Uh, oh, Lewis! Oh, almost loses it. Comes back on and does get caught in a bit there with uh, Max. Max does go ahead of Lewis then. So he's now up into P4 from... Oh! And Lewis does a cheeky little dive bomb down the inside of Max. Lewis ain't yielding that easily. As long as he keeps straight there. <laughs> he's a bit all over the place, Lewis. Don't know if his tyres are a bit warm after that little spin there. Max holds it and Lewis are really going for it here. Like, there's not going to be enough room there, lads. No, there is not. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Max has reset the track, but I don't think he realises that you can't do that. Um, it might get reported. Um, oh, and here comes Rep by hitting on Quirty there. Smith is all over the lack of hopes as well, but that is AI, oh, it's just all AIs there. Kevin sets the fastest lap at 154.9. Then gets ahead of Quirty, but Quirty gets back at him again. Quirty's missing an end plate here as well. Spencer and Max are hitting there. Curti and Ayrton and Lewis now as well. He spun. I think he must have that to, uh, to have been dropped some positions. Go through Scalesy there. Half of cams is all over the back of Travis. That duo is at it again. Travis has got the mediums, Cap has got the super softs. Interesting. The yeah, air scales he gets past Quirty again. Kappa might be looking. The DRS has now been enabled as well, ladies and gentlemen. So that could get interesting down the street. Travis is defending the inside. Kappa does 
hasn't looked to make the move just yet. What's happened? Oof! Oh, uh, scales you in the wall. Clearly, it's not scales his AI because uh, an AI wouldn't do that. Nice shots, actually. I'm just looking at that one, like the big overhead view there. Lewis comes into the pits. Kaka is all over the back of Travis. He would have had DRS there. I don't know why he didn't try and slip through Travis a bit more. Maybe he's now going to look at a possible move into turn two, is he? No, he's not. He's got the better tyres than Travis has. Uh, Kevin has done brilliantly here. He's really, really gapped the... Uh, position between him and Travis. Uh, nearly seven seconds in that. A lot of movement in the pit lane. However, Travis does have to pit, I think. He does have to pit. Uh, there is one mandatory... Uh, one mandatory pit stop. Uh, and it cannot be served under VSC or within the first two laps, of course. So, of course, I haven't looked at that. Probably should have now. I don't know if anyone did pit under that too. I'll have to look back in the stream to make sure that rule has been adhered. Um, Travis keeping it clean through the castle section and then the next chicane that immediately follows it up. Uh, drops, the, drops the gap to uh, Kevin actually by I reckon about a second. Maybe those super softs are starting to wear out for, uh, for Kevin here. More movement, there's a lot of movement in the backfield, they're all AI. I have been quality, it's all AI, and I think scales it. Max gets past him. That was Kevin going past us there, that really loud, aggressive uh, Alpine engine now. Brand new Joe's car, and Kevin comes into the pits to make his mandatory pit stop. Keeps the speed clean. Travis goes ahead. Kappa gets a five second for speeding in the pit lane. Um, he has to make a pit stop as well, though. Gets a new front wing as well. Liam comes in as well. Everyone's pitting. And I need a drink. Brett Byerton has done an amazing undercut here, actually. Um, he was down in fifth after he pit into those mediums and is now up in the P3 with a five second gap between him and Matt Spencer. Uh, Matt Spencer pitted around lap six, so he's got those mediums till the end. Um, Brett Byerton has done a great job. Travis is about 20 odd seconds away from Kevin, so Travis needs a really good in lap to try and uh, get away. Scalesy spun in turn one. I don't know if there was contact between some drivers. Uh, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Rep by it and may have the jump on Kevin here. Kevin had all that hard work, but obviously. Brett by it and had some good, good pace on his in-laps. Uh, and now he's all over the back of Kevin. Can I get past him? That is the question. There's been a lot of moves here. 
in sector two, end of sector two on these really fast corners. It can be very dangerous to make any moves around there. I think the best move for Ayrton here is to wait to the DRS zone and then really, really get him down into turn one. Max Holson gets a three second penalty for multiple warnings. That'd be trying to so I'd imagine. More yellows in, in the castle section. Scalesy DNFs in the castle section. Don't know if it's going to be a safety car or not. I really hope it doesn't, because that will ruin this race. Oh no, he is still alive. Well, it says DNF, so I don't know whether it is a. Oh, and we have another. His teammate Liam has spun as well. Intermarché, look, that's a French supermarket, that is. Maybe in other countries in Europe, but I've seen it in France. <laughs> I just had to have another look at the front, uh, the rear wing there, and just to, uh, oh yeah, I recognise that. Scales your leaves, right by it, and look at him. DRS wide open. Great move on Kevin. Of course, Kevin does get that DRS now. Does he? No, he does not, no. I believe... Nope, sorry, I'm looking at the complete wrong straight. Brett Burton gets that move done. Um, doesn't have to worry about Kevin until the next lap. Travis Cool is leading this race. Uh, kept the distance between him and Ayrton about 19 odd seconds. So I'd imagine he would be coming in for those super, super softs. Um, Imagine he'll be coming in now. Has he got a good front wing? That is the next question. Will his pit stop force him to get a new one? Uh, I think he's missing his left end plate actually. Um, so whether he might turn off the uh, the front wing change option, we'll ask. Oh, who's that behind him? I think that's the AI actually of Jack. No, it's not. It's Kevin. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong person at this point. That's Travis. Travis is right there. He stayed out. Yeah, Rep by Ayrton. Kevin, side by side, using the DRS. Gets past Rep by Ayrton. One of those new tires is going to be a very good battle between the two of them. Travis's gap is still fairly similar. 19.6 now actually, so it is up 6%. Brown in about 19 and a half seconds, somewhere around there. Uh, Matt, Max Olsen is up into uh, P6. Kevin and Rhett Mayer, and Rhett Mayer may have clipped the wall a little bit there, he might have got lucky. Um, Scalesy, if you're here, I've seen your uh, message in Discord. Uh, it's in the tier one chat, however. I think it is a glitch in game. It happened to a couple of people last time we raced. Very annoying. Um, it just happened. Nothing you can do about it, I'm afraid. Right by it, and has actually just stepped off a little, a little bit from Kevin here. Um, don't want to get any dirt, dirt yeah, through that area of the track, that's for sure. The DRS zone. The DRS detection zone is as the trick the straight straightens out after that slight meandering right hander. Um, so not this corner, the next one, just as it straightens out. And he is just about in, I think. That's the DRS detection zone just there on that line. And it is now wide open for Ayrton. Coming down into turn one. Kevin is gonna have to let him pass. He does do indeed. Good move by it in there. And Matt Lewis gets done by uh, Lewis gets the move done on uh, Matt Spencer as well. Um, Matt Spencer in P5, Lewis in P4. Uh, Matt Spencer has got a three-second time penalty, I believe. So yes, 
he does have a three second there. I don't know, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Stops. No one. Ha uh, so everyone has stopped. They made their mandatory pit stop, other than Travis. So Travis has got to pit soon here. Yeah. Hopefully he knows that. I don't know how long he's gonna keep it, to be honest. Got the pit. When's he gonna do it? That is the question. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna remember the pit here, Travis? That will not be good. He will get disqualified for that. Surely those tyres are getting a bit old now, Travis. Ten lap old mediums. Is he going to box? How much time will he lose? He's not boxed now. Was he holding out for a safety car? I don't know. You can't box under that safety car, so he's got to box soon. As Kevin looks at this move once again, Max Spence has dropped off a of Lewis, so there will be no move for him. Kevin gets moved on and Ayrton, Ayrton gets squeezed by Kevin there, tries to switch back but Kevin gets the defence very very good indeed. Uh, I believe Ayrton will get DRS now, yes he will on uh, Kevin and here he comes slowly but surely we're going to tap to him, I don't think the move's on here at all. No, Ayrton knows that and he stays behind Kevin, Kevin runs a little bit, a bit wide there with a slight slide. Max is back in the pits again. Cabacams gets the fastest lap on the Super Softs in the Prima Racing car. Here comes it and licking all the time for a move but knows it's not wise. Oh and he loses a bit of front wing, that's costly for Ayrton there. Uh, I don't know whether he's going to pit now. That will be interesting to know. Um, that could be his uh, P3 over now, unless he keeps away from Lewis, who's five seconds behind with three laps to go. Gets the braking done very, very well. Uh, through that chicane. I think the best thing for Ayrton to do here now is just to try and keep with Kevin as best he can, using the DRS, not to necessarily overtake Kevin, but just to you know, just to stay with him so that Lewis doesn't gain on him dramatically. But you have to lift off a lot through these corners. I don't think he's got DRS. No, he has not. Travis has now pitted. Uh, he has realised. Kevin will slowly but surely get past him, I think. Yeah, Travis has just pulled into his pit box. Kevin zooms past, but hang on a minute. Ayrton has somehow managed to get ahead of Kevin. I didn't even realise he had the opportunity for DRS there. He does. Kev uh, Rep by Ayrton into P1. P2 is Kevin. P3 is Lewis. Matty Spencer uh, is in P4. Travis is now down into P5. Uh, still not out of pit lane yet. Uh, Matty Spencer has got a three second penalty though. So that could get Travis back up into P4. Travis I think wanted to lead the race for as long as he possibly could. Um, but currently, P1 is Ayrton, so... I think that's just AI is messing about in the bottom of the field, yes it is. Trident and the Charus racing. Oh, we have yellows. Who is it? I think it might be Liam. Turn one once more. Yes, it is. I think he's really struggling at turn one there. Did a Hamilton, I think, didn't he? Oh, dear. Kevin's actually lost Ayrton a little bit here. Uh, does catch up with him again now. That Ayrton has to let, uh, give it a lot of breaking through that corner. Um, if Ayrton can gap Kevin here during this DRS, and we'll be safe, safe from Kevin. 
And Travis is 16 seconds behind uh, the leaders now. He really needs to push to, uh, to try and get in range of uh, Matt. Matt has got a three second penalty. Liam's left. Um, so that is him that has left. Kevin gets past Ayrton into turn one. Same move that you've seen uh, throughout this race. Um, another chance for DRS here by, Rhett, by Ayrton, and he has got better, better exit than Kevin has. Uh, this move could happen now into turn three. Maybe pulled out from behind that car a little bit early. This could be interesting. Ayrton sensible and uh, knows that if he stays behind, he has got a good chance of getting Kevin maybe in the last lap or so. A little bit of a slide there from Kevin as well. Three second penalty for Lewis Such for corner cutting. So if Travis can uh, catch up here, he's 15 seconds behind Matt. Uh, and Matt is actually gaining on Lewis as well here now. So this is a fight for P3. And Lewis is letting Matt go, is he? Side by side into stadium, that's not going to work, boys. Oh dear. Lewis forces Matt into the wall. Um, I don't know if Matt has damage as well, though. Uh, sorry, if Lewis has damage as well. Yes, he does. Uh, Lewis has no front wing, and Matt has got a front wing. But it's very, very limited. Lewis hits the wall. Matt has to slam the brakes on so he doesn't rear end Lewis. Uh, think about this, Matt. Go sensibly and get him on a straight. That's the best option for you there. Rep by Ayrton and Kevin are coming into the next DRS zone. This could be a fight for P1 and 2, a fight for P3 and 4 in the last lap of the race. Uh, with DRS advantage as well, of course, now. Uh, is it? Yeah, open by Ayrton. And he zooms past Kevin. This could be interesting, though, because Kevin will get probably DRS uh, out of turn 2, towards turn 3 on that street. Uh, which could provide a move for Kevin, uh, but then Air and then will be behind, and we'll get DRS on Kevin into the final push for the line. Matt Expenser gets past. Uh, I think that's Lewis. Quirty and Kappa are going for it as well. Fair few battles going on now on track. Uh, DRS wide open for Quirty, so he should zoom past. Kappa gets a three seconds from multiple warnings, so him and Quirty, there's not really a race on there too much now. Quirty is three seconds ahead, theoretically. A lot much better racing from the uh, from the start of this uh, stream. Very, very glad to see it. Um, Kevin and Ayrton, so Ayrton is ahead. Uh, Kevin doesn't get that move done, so it will be a sprint finish for these two to the line. Oh, and Ayrton clips the wall. really backed, backed off there now. That no front wing is really causing a struggle for him. We're going to go to these two because these two have been at it all race. Uh, both have damage, um, I believe. I know one definitely does. I think Ayrton does. Oh no, Kevin does not have any damage. Lewis Hatch has binned it. Um, but this is the last lap. And here we go, Kevin is less than two tenths behind Ayrton. Had to break a lot there. Is the sprint going to work for him? Really slips through with him now. And trying to break it. I don't think it's going to happen. Here comes Kevin. And he gets there in front of her. And so unlucky from her. And uh, ran a great race. But unfortunately the DRS is turned into the last straight. Just helped, helped Kevin get the win. Kevin was miles ahead of it and now a great recovery by Matt. Matt Expensive crosses the line in P3. P4 is Travis. Cool. There we go. P5 is Kappa Cams as he crosses the line. Oh, will it be? Because he has a three second. Can quit again? Yes, he can, but not enough. Eight one hundredths of a second uh, separate Kappa and Quirty for P5 and 6. P7 goes to Max. Now that he has crossed the line, very good race from all of them. Uh, unfortunate for 
for Max. Um, his dream of going from last to first on the grid almost happened, but a, a silly dive bomb from him really uh, caused the problem. Um, a very good feature race. Um, the sprint was a little bit of a mess. Um, but these boys are hopefully going to get used to these cars now. And uh, in moving on to Silverstone, there's a lot more chances of cleaner overtaking. Baku's very hard and very frustrating if you're behind a car for a long time. And that is the podium uh, finishes. So to round the weekend off, the weekend results, uh, Kevin goes, oh wait, results feature race, what the hell? It doesn't tell me. Oh wait, have I got to press forward? No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it has now sorted itself out. Ayrton wins the weekend. Uh, P2 is Kevin. Uh, P3 is Travis. Um, let me get some photos in a minute, sorry. I will probably run over the photos, it'll be probably easier for you. Um, once I finish, because I've got 16 seconds, um, I've got to get more photos than normal, that's the trouble. Right, so. Red Bay and wins. P2 is uh, Kevin. P3 Travis. P4 Max Spencer. P5 is Kappa Cams. P6 is Hypes. P7 is Frosty. Um, waiting for the stream. P8 is uh, Qwerty. P9 is Max Holzen. Uh, P10 is Lewis Such. P11 is Liam. P12 is Smith. P13 is Watson. And P14. Uh, P14 went to Scalesy. Uh, and then P15 was Jacko SH. Right, anyway, that is it for Formula 2 this week. Uh, you will see me and the rest of the guys uh, driving next week on Tuesday um, for round six of uh, Formula Two. Uh, da 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 da. What else was I going to say? I've had a complete mind blank. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, congratulations to Ayrton, of course, for winning the uh, the weekend. Um, and yeah, see you all next week on Tuesday for Silverstone. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.